Shut up, clock in. Hey everyone, Thorn and Smash here, and today we are going into the last week of the Post Malone event. But we also have a brand new store rotation coming in, and some bugs and issues going on in the game of Apex Legends that have caused quite a bit of issues. So today we're going to go over what Respawn is looking to fix, what you can be expected to get fixed in the near future, and what's, you know, going on with cross progression. We're going to cover all of that. We're also going to go ahead and give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. All right, so it's our weekly Tuesday store rotation, and we can be looking forward to two absolute banger skins. One one being the decorated line for Bangalore and the war machine for Pathfinder. These are actually two of my favorite skins that have ever released in Apex Legends. One being a stories from the Outland skin, one being from the first ever collection event, and it's just awesome to see them back because I personally really like them. Now, of course, this is going to be the last week of the skins for the Post Malone collection event. That features the Wraith with the Wingman, along with the Octane with the R301, the Horizon with the Prowler, and Lifeline with the Car SMG. You can buy them in the store, but you have to get them as a bundle. They're each about 3,000 Apex coins. They come with banner frames and other cosmetics, and there's also some sticker packs there as well. This is the last week, as I said, you'll be able to get them. Along with that, this will also be the last week of the Twitch drops. These are the ones that you can see right here that are coming. And right here is a list that says from November 14th to the 21st, you'll be able to get the Weapon Charm 2, the Hollow Spray 2, and the Posty Sticker Pack. After that, drops are no longer going to be active for this, so it is your last chance to tune in and get some. This is also the last week that Three Strikes LTM is going to be out, so if you want to play that with some friends, this is your last opportunity to do so, or earn any of the free rewards in the Camo Collection Post Malone Event Shop. Remember, you can only get two AP Apex packs or about 50 overall crafting material and there is also a great flatline a Nessie charm some hollow sprays and some battle pass stars if you want that something that was actually brought up that is a little bit upsetting is the fact that if you want to get every single badge in this you're gonna have to play every single day and unlock every single challenge all the way up until the very end meaning that if you miss any day or miss any points in a day you will not be able to get the final badge which I just think was a horrible way to do this but it is what it is we will have a one week break and then we will actually be getting the next collection event which should be going live at around December 5th and that's going to be the Uprising Collection event with the Loba Prestige skin. Also, little side note that while we do have a week break, we will be getting a new recolor called Underworld Guardian, which is for Wraith from the Imperial Guard Collection event. This comes on sale on November 21st. And it will also come bundled with this Volt skin right here, which matches the skin. Overall, I think they look fantastic, and at least it's something during a down week in Apex Legends. But before that, there is going to be a couple of things that Respawn is going to need to work on. There's a couple of things that are in progress, such as NVIDIA reflexes grayed out. Players can spectate others while respawning, which seems like a scryer ability that seems to have gotten the game a little bit early. Bullet Tracer's VFX appears offset when strafing coming out of the forehead, and the ranked button mashing during rank up animation occasionally causes crash. Now, those are all the investigating ones that are being worked on. However, there's a couple of issues right now that they don't actually know how to fix. Most notably, some players encountering detected data mismatch error, ballistic crashing after swapping primary weapon into sling and immediately equipping after entering TDM and control, and legends rotating and playing at 165 frames per second. Those have been there forever, and they're always an issue. Now, with three strikes actually leaving, there's another issue coming in. If you're going to go back into playing ranked well as pvp and his watson both point out lifeline healers are back and this is a glitch within the game where you can just heal infinitely in the zone it's how people are getting second or third place in rank you never have to fight and it ensures that you get a top placement response still hasn't addressed it or said what they're going to do to fix the issue but hopefully we see something very soon along with that ea charms are disappearing from players accounts this was actually dm to me i found some background information and ea is aware of the problem and looking into it it's unsure if this is a problem related to cross progression or if it's something with EA accounts, but this is an issue if you notice some of your charms are now gone. Speaking of that cross progression issue, most of you are aware that Respawn did put out a tweet saying that they're actively working on fixes and will continue rollouts on Monday, November 6th, which was last week. As a reminder, don't unlink and relink your accounts as it won't impact when you receive cross progression. Now, we did get an update on this from November 8th because cross progression didn't resume actually on November 6th, and they did let us know that on that Wednesday they had now resumed their cross progression efforts, which was on my birthday. I think Respawn was trying to make everyone happy via me. Along with that, they are actually working through an issue impact players who unlinked and relinked their account prior to having their accounts merged and as a result are now locked out of their account. They'll continue with updates on that tweet officially or on that account but if you have lost all your stuff due to relinking and unlinking your account trying to get cross progression, Respawn is aware of the issue and trying to work on it. You're just going to have to be patient. Unfortunately, they have not given a time frame or further updated it. There were some connection issues the day after cross progression and they rolled out a fix and got it and I kind of wonder if that had anything to do with cross progression but we're just going to have to wait and see as they continue to do rollouts for more and more users. Users. Let me know down below, how do you guys feel about season 19 so far? Are you excited or are you just kind of hoping to get to season 20 with a brand new map sooner than later? Also, what other bugs and issues have you guys been dealing with? Don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends content. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. See you out there.